let us start lecture 5. And topic we will now get to gradually to uh, concentration polarization. and mixed potential theory. Till now, we have got to the situation that uh, activation polarization happens when there is activated jump of metal ion or metal atom across the double layer over an activation barrier. Now, we have also seen that there could be situation of equilibrium and that time we will come across exchange current density and when polarization happens, which is the manifestation of current flow or rather net current flow into the socket and that time either I A can go up as compared to I C or I C can go up as compared to I A and that would lead to anodic polarization and cathodic polarization and we can measure the polarization by over voltage which is meta. Now, again we have also seen that that activation polarization happens at a lower current density, when the concentration across the metal surface does not change. The bulk concentration or as well as the interface composition of the metal species or the reducing species would not change, but if we go to a higher current density that reducing species can change its concentration at the interface of the metal. Now, that time we will come across concentration polarization. So, if we see the concentration evolution of concentration polarization, so if we have double layer, so here we have situation like let us say if I consider a situation where I C is greater than I A. So, in this case m n plus. So, this current I C and this current I A and I A less than I C for the and the energy distribution plot will be the dotted green line. This happens now, that time if I see the concentration C 0, let us say metal ion concentration C 0 in the bulk, that concentration remains same as C 0 at the interface. But once I C becomes greater than greater than I A, then the rate at which this jump happens and the rate at which the metal line is supplied by the bulk, these two rates becomes different. So, the rate this current density or the reducing current density or the I C is so high that there will be a depleted ion layer across the interface. So, now gradually the concentration will go down will keep going down across the interface, because if this axis, this axis is concentration and this axis is distance, distance. So, then the rate the the reduction rate is so high that the metal ion 
depletion happens across the interface and the rate at which this happens and if I consider the rate of metal line supply is then lower than I c or the reduction rate. So, that time I will have a depleted layer. So, if I try to draw this one in the concentration profile mode. So, I will see that this is C 1 and this is the bulk concentration C 0, then I will have a plot like this. So, when we have a plot like this, then I will have a diffusion distance which is delta, which is the boundary layer thickness. Now, the entire reduction process will be decided by how quickly the metal ion is supplied from bulk to the interface and then that metal ion will get reduced. From this, this is of course, this line is distance, this is concentration. From this, we can have one more polarization. Let us see how we get to that. Now, I can see that J, which is the flux, nothing but mole per unit area per unit time. I can write a simple fixed first law minus d dc dx and c is the concentration. Now, this is nothing but I by n f. Why? Because w by area, let us say a is capital A is area and time is t, that is I into uh, let us say let me mention it as small a which is area, this is a which is the atomic weight n f for that. We have seen it before. So, this unit is gram per unit area per unit time. So, now if I want to convert it into mole, so that time this is to be divided by atomic weight. So, now W by A T divided by A which becomes the unit like this. So, then I A A N F. So, this two cancels out and here small a is area and capital A is molecule atomic weight of the metal. So, now if I try to see the polarization situation, when if you see this particular C 1, if the current density is extremely high, that time the C 1 can have the extreme value which is 0. So, this is very high, very, very high i. Okay. So, that time it can have the limiting value which is 0. That means, whatever ions are coming from the bulk to the interface, those ions are immediately getting reduced. So, now in one case I will have C 1 and in one case I will have extreme situation the concentration at the interface goes to 0. Let us see that what will be the equation at these two boundary conditions. So, the one boundary condition is when C equal to C 1 at the interface. So, that time J equal to I by n f equal to minus D C 0 minus C 1 by delta and let me put it as J 1 or let me put it as I 1 corresponding to the condition C 1, the interface condition. 
So, that means, uh, here the situation is if I consider this is to be interface and this is the bulk concentration, I am having a situation like this. This is distance, this is concentration and this concentration is C 1. Now, for a boundary condition when C equal to C 0 sorry C equal to 0 at the interface that time J 2 equal to I 2 n f this i is nothing but the current density equal to minus d c 0 minus 0 by delta. So, this situation is like this. So, if this is the 0 value, so now this is c 0, this is delta, here it is delta. So, this is c concentration, this is distance. So, that condition I will have a situation like this. Now, I could immediately make out this is I 2 is the limiting value because I am reaching the limiting value of 0 at the end. So, I 2 is right is considered as I limiting or I limit L. So, we see that I limiting is uh, appearing when I am having this situation. Now, let us consider the potential that is being developed at the interface. So, in a situation like when C equal to C 0 at the interface that time potential m n plus by m equal to E 0 m n plus by m plus R T N F I can mention C 0 since it is a pure metal and we have already seen then the concentration of metal line is nothing but C 0. So, I am putting C 0. Similarly, when C equal to C R 1 that time E. So, let us say this C equal to C 0 and here C equal to C 1. So, M N plus M equal to E 0 m n plus m plus r t n f l n c c 1. So, these are the two potential when the concentration at the interface are this. So, if we see this particular situation now uh, when we are having activation polarization that time the concentration at the interface is maintained C 0 all the time. So, this is that time we will only get activation polarization and that we can express in the form of Tafel equation. But once we have a very high current density that means reduction current density I C that time the concentration will start reducing at the interface. So, we will get a depleted zone and then these two potential values must be different. And this is the condition we are getting when we are having very high I C. Fine. So, this condition is getting. So, now if I try to see what is the polarization due to this concentration change is nothing but E m plus m C equal to C 1 minus E C equal to C 0 m n plus m. So, these two values are same, these are the standard potential. So, this is I can write it as n f l n c 1 by c 0. This is nothing but concentration. We shortly write as concentration is equal to then R t by n f l n I can see c 1 by c 0 I can do a little bit of juggling here R t by n f l n 1 minus 1 plus c 1 by c 0 you can we can write it as R t by n f l n 1 minus c 0 by c 1 by c 0 I can write this. 
I can convert into log and if I consider 25 degrees Celsius one atmosphere pressure that time this factor this factor will become this factor multiplied by so that means R T F 2.303 log 1 minus C 0 by C 1 by C 0 by n this factor would become 0.059 n log of 1 minus C 0 minus C 1 C 0. Okay. So, I can further write 0 0.059 by n log of now get to this particular two situations uh, this and this. So, if I try to write j 1 equal to i 1 n f equal to minus d c 0 minus c 1 by delta and j 2 equal to i l by n f equal to minus d c 0 by delta. So, then I can see that C 0 minus C 1 by C 0 is nothing but I 1 by I L. I can get to this because both the cases D would be same because it is at, at a particular temperature N and F both the cases are same. So, this ratio we are getting. So, I can write it as 1 minus I 1 by I L. So, this is concentration polarization. If I would like to plot it, if I would like to plot it, so this is n concentration equal to 0.059 n log 1 minus i 1 by i l. Now, here instead of 1, I just put i because it is a generalized equation then this that means, it is valid for any other composition. The C 1 could be anything other than C 0 uh, and once I reaches to I L that time this quantity becomes infinite. So, if I try to plot it the plot nature would be so, this is the situation. Uh, If you see this, this is the situation, this is the value 0, the over voltage 0 and this is log i. So, when it can go to 0? When i c equal to i a equal to i 0. So, that means, I will have situation like this. situation like this, these are the activation regime and now at this point I equal to I L. So, that means, concentration polarization becomes infinite. So, it goes down directly straight. So, this value corresponds to I L the I limiting. Now, if we could see that before I achieve this situation the concentration polarization or the change in concentration change in potential due to concentration effect is not that significant, but there is a change in potential due to activation. Now, the activation will take the potential down, but the concentration effect will not allow the potential to be down significantly, it will be insignificant. So, initially at a lower current level the activation current will try to take activation polarization leading to the I c that will take the potential down and finally, when the I c reaches this particular criteria it will merge with this. 
fine. So, the final plot would be So, this is for I A, this is for I C, this is I 0, this is 0 over voltage corresponding to E equilibrium, this is the corresponding I L. So, this combines so up to this we are having activation polarization. and after this we are getting concentration polarization right so this is the uh, significance of this is the in the log scale this is the significance of concentration polarization and this plot shows the combination of both activation and concentration now if i try to see the mixed potential theory here also now, in case of zinc and hydrogen, these two reactions, we could see that the plot were like this. Plot were like this. So, this is the and these points I am not indicating, you just go back and see that what are those points. This is for hydrogen this is for zinc and now this point is nothing but I cot equal to I c hydrogen and this is E mix and this is the potential axis. This is the situation what we had in case of activation side, activation when the polarization is control polarization is nothing but the activation polarization. Now, if we have a situation like this, let us say one metal which is having its own activation polarization in the cathodic side this is I A for metal minus N E equal to M N plus and this is I C for that metal fine and this is I 0 of that metal on that metal surface, this is E equilibrium of that particular metal fine. Now, if I consider the hydrogen evolution on that particular metal and if we consider the hydrogen reaction is taking place like this and before it reaches the mixed potential. I will have achieved if I have if I achieve uh, concentration polarization in case of hydrogen this is the concentration polarization line this is I C hydrogen on that metal surface. If we have a situation like this this is I A for hydrogen this is I 0 hydrogen on that metal surface and this is E equilibrium hydrogen. So, that time the mixed potential would be this point fine and at this point I limiting hydrogen on that metal surface is equal to I A of that metal or I corrosion fine. This is the situation. This is the mixed potential theory for in the situation when we have interaction of concentration polarization with the activation part of that metal and these two extreme points they try to reach a mixed potential where total cathodic current density is equal to total anodic current density. We will have interaction like this. So, this is the interaction of activation polarization for both I A and I C 
and this is interaction of concentration polarization of I c and activation polarization of I a. So, these two situation we are we have just now explained. So, let us stop here. Now, we have understood a uh, kind of we just basically this is the recap. Now, we will get to understand lot of uh, corrosion phenomena with the help of mixed potential theory one after another. Uh, thank you.